concept of how diabetes is improved and some, many times remitted entirely after metabolic and bariatric surgery is very interesting. And the most obvious answer is, of course, you lose a great deal of weight and everyone would expect that that would improve insulin sensitivity. And there's no question that that's true. But much more interesting are large bodies of evidence that demonstrate that in addition to the weight-dependent anti-diabetes mechanisms, most types of metabolic and bariatric surgery also engage numerous and diverse, powerful, weight-independent anti-diabetes mechanisms. The favorite idea is that maybe there are changes in gut hormones that cause this because the gut is full of hormones that regulate glucose homeostasis, and that's the part of your body that's being manipulated by bariatric and metabolic surgery. So gastric bypass, sleeve gastrectomy, uh, biliopancreatic diversion, they all greatly enhance your post-meal secretion of GLP-1, which then drives an increase in insulin secretion. And that's definitely a player, but it only accounts for maybe a fifth to a quarter of all the benefits of metabolic surgery on diabetes. Um, so what are the other components that could come into play? It's now become clear that certain metabolic operations also enhance insulin sensitivity, particularly those that involve an intestinal bypass. Most clearly, the beginning few feet of intestine, you bypass the, that, that enhances insulin sensitivity. There are changes in the, the way the gut uses blood glucose. So for example, it doesn't absorb as much into the body, it consumes more of it, of it itself, and it reduces its own production of glucose. Beyond these changes in insulin secretion, sensitivity, and the way the gut uses and makes glucose, there are changes in bile acid signaling, in particular after sleep gastrectomy, and clear scientific evidence has shown that the effects of sleep gastrectomy are caused in part by favorable changes in bile acids that help both weight loss and diabetes. There's an interesting body of evidence from changes in the gut microbiome, the, the bacteria that live in your gut, which change in ways that help promote the weight loss in, engaged by surgery. We are focused in this, on this Congress on trying to move forward from having generated a beautiful evidence base, having that evidence base accepted by powerful societies in the field, and moving to having these changes implemented in the actual field of use. So I'm eagerly looking forward to seeing you for a wonderful Congress in New York.